Hey, how's it going? This is Mr. Hernandez here. Uh, gonna go over the IXL L.2 translating uh, graph, uh, graphing the image. Um, so what I want to do first is um, take a snapshot here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is follow these two directions. So it's gonna go. Each point is gonna go nine units to the left and ten units down. So I'm going to start off maybe at this point here, uh, at M, and uh, I'm going to go 9 units to the left. So we're not going to count until we make the first jump. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 down from here where we left off. We're going to go down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is our final, final uh, position here. So this red dot, that is now, instead of M, I'm going to put an apostrophe, which means M prime, because it came from M, but this is now the final location after you translated it. Okay, let's do the same thing for L. So it's going to go 9 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, so it's directly above M, M prime, and that's actually makes sense because, uh, you know, the original L is directly above M, if you look on the original image. So it makes sense that the L prime will be directly above, uh, underneath the M prime. Okay, so I moved uh, 9 to the left, now I'm going to move 10 down, so here we go, I'm going to go 1, now I'm at M prime, but I'm going to pass it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so base, So now I'm. Uh, this is our final location for L, L prime, because it came from L, but now it's, now it's over here after it translated it. Um, and then what you could do next is the same thing for N. So I'm going to start here. Go left 9, 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then uh, I'm gonna move ten down from here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then now this here at negative eight is our n prime because it came from n. And now I'm gonna connect all of the lines here, but of course on IXL it makes it way easier. But a good thing you could do to check is to measure. Um, so if you measure the original image, like how far it is from M to L, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 9 units up and down. So from M to uh, M prime to L prime, it should be 9. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it actually should be the exact same uh, length on all the sides, but you could just you know check one if you want to and so uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> Do this with this one so um, I did it with the uh, Drawing tool because you can't really draw in here, but you could count so Okay, and then I'm gonna go to L by going nine down And then, um, you know, from L to N, you could even go from L to N by going up one over one, two, three, four, up one over four from L to N. And there it is. So it should look exactly the same. You could count each individual one or you could just count from uh, one to the other. So let me give you that other example. Uh, so here again, it might be easier instead of just going. So this one is eight units down. So let me just start at U and go eight units down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But now look at R. R is directly one under U. So that means that this R prime should be directly under the U prime. And instead of going from S down, I could go from R and say, okay, well, how far is R to S? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could go six across. And T is directly ab above S, and you end up getting your rectangle. So you don't have to move each one 
uh, separately. As long as you create the original shape, you just got to start with the, the certain one. Okay, let's jump ahead to 43. Okay, so this is going to be um, six, three units to the left and six. So I'm going to do this, what I was saying, um, instead of moving every single one, let me just move one and then I'll move all the other ones after that. So three units to the left, one, two, three, six units down, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is our H prime. Okay, now look at H to E. H to E goes one to the left and two down. So if I go one to the left and two down, I'm going to end up right here. So this would be E prime because H and E, it should look the same as from H to E here. Okay, so the slope, we're looking at the slope. Now from E to F, let me see, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven squares going from E to E to F. <clears throat> so E prime to F prime should be seven as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so F prime should be right there. Now from F to G, it goes up, one, up two and over one. So I'm going to go up two and over one, and that should be my G prime. Um, now, these are just the slope here, but I'm going to connect this here. Okay, and then I'll just connect H, H prime to G prime. So notice it looks like the same exact uh, parallelogram, and we just started with one. Um, and then we kind of, instead of counting three, three left and six down each point, <clears throat> which you could do, but the other method is <clears throat> going only uh, counting one point, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and basically, uh, you know, going from H to E, H to E prime, um, and then going. Let's see. Okay. And that looks basically the same. So I'm going to submit it. So the main thing, again, with this um, is going in order. You, If, you, if you're going to, um, you know, go from C to D to E to F, that's going to kind of go in one motion. <clears throat> this is, um, this is kind of picky. So if you're going to, if you're going to put this one first and then you're going to do this one, you can't just jump to F. You have to go in order. So you have to go now to E and then to F and then it'll complete it. And so, uh, be careful if you're putting these points in, uh, not in the right order, um, it's not going to give you the shape that you want. So make sure you go in the right order. Okay. Well, um, so I hope that helps you and, uh, good luck.